just want to make this brief video, and I feel I need to get in front of the camera because um, I was pretty upset tonight about smoking. And uh, look, I don't want to have to move, but it's like all these things just came, you know, the things I'm seeing in my town are one thing, and then I have mental illness, so when I kept too much stress and too many things going on, I just lose it. You know, emotionally, I just, when I came back home and I, and, and, and I saw this, I, I, I smelled how thick the smoke was, I just, I just lost it, I, you know what I mean? I, I just, I can't deal with the smoking anymore. Um, I just want, I just want this, I mean, if anyone should be, have to move, it should be the smoker. He's the one breaking the rules. He's been told to stop so many times. I mean, this guy has some chutzpah to keep doing what he's doing. Um, and smokers wonder why they don't get any respect. So, I don't want to make it seem like Minial is a horrible place. It's not a horrible place. But when so many things happen at once, my illness causes me to just... This is why a, a friend of mine, people suggest, don't make a video right away. Just, you know, calm down. Don't say anything. And just think. It's hard. It's hard. Um, this isn't a bad place, alright? It's just so many things coming together to... You know, overload me. You know, and, and, and if I came home and I didn't smell that smoke, uh, I would not have at you know I would not have even put up the video or the post about wanting to move. But I just I can't deal with the smoking anymore. Um, it has to stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm reaching out to the people, my property owner and and my agency about this. And I hope that it can get resolved. I mean, it, he has to be out. This He's been given so many chances, chance upon chance upon chance. You know, he's got to go. He refuses to follow the rules. And, you know, it's he's very selfish about it. Not only does it put people, my health the people's health at risk breathing that in, but it's also a fire hazard. He doesn't care. You know, people like that, you know, I don't know what to say. And I just want to say I'm sorry, all right? I, 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 you have to understand, there's so many things going on at once, I overload, and I have a panic attack, and I had a panic attack, I'm not saying I want to move out, all right? Just please disregard that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I should not have said that. But the smoking has to stop. I can't deal with the smoking anymore. The smoking has to stop. I, I can't deal with it. If, if, if the smoking remains a problem, I, I'm going to have to move. But that would be the, the number one, the only thing that would really make me move is the smoking. Let me make that clear. So, again, I'm sorry for getting upset. It's just, you have meant, you know, it's, it's hard enough for a regular person. And there are people out there who don't have mental problems who are dealing with this problem. I know I'm not the only one. There are a lot of other people who live in apartments that deal with this kind of situation. All right. Uh, but it's hard, especially in somebody who has mental problems, to be subject to it. And it seems like it's just a pattern that keeps repeating itself. He stops, and then a couple of months later, he starts back up again, smoking in there. He thinks he can get away with it, um, but he can't. So, wish me luck. He needs to stop. He needs to be out. And I hope, my landlord's a pretty nice guy, so I really hope, uh, I really hope he does the right thing. Take care.